During his public ministry, the Lord made it very clear to the apostles and those who would seek to follow him that the world in general would not appreciate what they were doing, especially if they were striving to teach the gospel message. And so we must always be ready to defend the Lord during these times of trials and tribulations, these times when as true followers we can expect to be drawn before courts and be condemned by the magistrates of this world. For the philosophy of Christ is always and everywhere opposed to this worldly philosophy. That is, ultimately, the philosophy of our Lord is opposed always and everywhere and is in eternal opposition to that of Satan, his minions, those angels who followed him, and all men who also decide to follow this false philosophy of seeking their happiness and their pleasure in this life. And so, today we honor blessed Gregory Grassi and his companions who gave the ultimate witness of the truths of Christ, that is, when drawn before the magistrates of this world in the, in the country of China, they did not renounce their faith, but rather the words that the Lord promised would be given would be found on their lips and they would give eloquent defense of the rights of Christ over all society, those rights by which he has come to rule as king through the love of his sacred heart to all lands and to all peoples, but often, this message is rejected, and so we have to exercise that prudence. For martyrdom is a grace, not a grace often, that we can go out looking for. For our Lord tells us very clearly that in witness into his faith, we must be prudent. And if we are permitted, we must also flee during times of persecution. But often there are those blessed souls like blessed Gregory who are called to give the ultimate witness because the ultimate witness of martyrdom, when there is no way to escape it, no legitimate way to escape it, is a Christian duty. It is the final witness of a soul who gives that witness most especially to his persecutors. For that, rather than renounce Christ for the pleasures of this world, they stay close to the Lord and pay the ultimate price, which is the ultimate witness of their belief in a life to come. And so let us strive always and everywhere to pray that we too, if we are given the grace, will suffer a modest death, a modest witness for the love of Christ, that love that came into the world and was himself rejected, especially by the leaders of this world, that is, the courts, the synagogues, and the magistrates of this world. For it seems that Christ is always in opposition because many have not come to understand. Christ does not wish to come and take that authority that he has given the world leaders. Rather, he wishes to give them the grace so that they may exercise that authority in the highest possible manner. That is, a man again always and everywhere to bring families and nations to the understanding that Christ has made the ultimate sacrifice and to follow him means that we have, re we have truly resolved to seek forgiveness of our sins. And so let us pray that we as members of the mystical body may be willing to die a, a modest death, but also let us pray for those who have embraced a false philosophy so that they may come to love, that, that they may come to know that love in this life so that they may truly experience it for all eternity in the life to come.